while we're talking about Splatoon 2, we've also got some accessories for for this game. And uh, we're just going to start with the one that I just... It, it blows my mind sometimes, the balls on this company. <laughs> but you know what? Collectors will buy this stuff. And it's, tr it, it's, it's just amazing. It is amazing that, yes, Nintendo is selling an empty Splatoon 2 bundle buck bundle box for five bucks in japan so <laughs> yo the hype is real with this game right now hype is so off the charts this comes from uh from at vook 64 hype is so off the charts in japan you can buy the boxer switch bundle just a box five bucks dude dude Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> I just, uh. But you know what's funny? It's like people always try to, like, collectors will, like, go into, like, a GameStop or wherever there's, like, demo boxes and stuff of anything. And they'll try to get, like, the, you know, the stuff that's usually hanging because all it ends up happening is it gets thrown out at the end of the day. Like, those big stand up, like, uh, life size cardboard cutouts of you know main characters in different games those those things get torn up and thrown out so i mean they're they're promotional items but it, it's it, it uh, i'm i'm in the middle on this guys i don't know what to think it's like all right it's cool at the same time come on man <laughs> come on uh, so in japan and europe there's this con there's um the splatoon 2's nintendo switch bundle that comes with the neon green and neon pink the splatoon colors joy con controllers and uh i guess a lot of them sold out so these are this is more for people that i guess have a nintendo switch want the box because it looks cool and looks like a cool collector's item uh, but man man I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let's move on to some of these other accessories that they've got here. And then we'll jump back into the chat. But uh, here we go. Like I said, Japan and Europe getting the, uh, getting the bundle. And here are some of the accessories. Now, I have not gone to any retailers. I didn't have time to check up whether these are currently available for pre-order for us in the U.S. right now. But um, you got the neon pink and green right here. You guys already know. You guys already know. You don't even have to ask me if I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm getting it. That's just hands down. It's, it's happening. It's not. It, Arms was questionable, and it's still questionable to me whether I, I'm going to actually get the yellow Joy-Cons. I don't know. I'm not really feeling the color. Neon pink, neon green. There's no question about it. I'm getting those Joy-Cons. That's it. <laughs> instead of done uh we've also got you know what i can probably just zoom in this way this might be a little bit easier to do boom here you go you have your nintendo switch case right here where you'll be able to hold your switch in two different colors or is it nope it's just green on one side pink on the other they're really pushing the green and pink i mean can uh, can you flame them this one is the only one that's a little questionable. Now, you guys already know, for the most part, I've been playing all my games, with few exceptions, with the Joy-Cons. Um, uh, I've used the Pro Controller a few times, but the buttons are just too drastically big in comparison to the Joy-Cons that I have actually gotten too used to playing with the Joy-Cons at this point, so... I, I'm not, I don't know. and, and plus L1 pointed this out in Discord as well. You're holding on to it. You're covering the colors that you bought the controller for. So what's the point? <laughs> I, I just, uh, eh, I, I, I'm, I'm going to take a pass on the pro controller. Joy-Cons gets a yes from me. Now, if I can get the opposite right and left of the colors that I am missing from this pack, that would be amazing. Because then the, 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 the color options are limitless. We got our red. We got our blue. We got our black right now. I'm, I'm a little iffy on the yellow. But these, these green and pink ones, yes. They get an okay Joe for me. True story. What do you guys think? 
about these uh these accessories that uh, that are coming out for splatoon is it too much uh, are you are you trying to figure out how am i going to save all this money for all these damn accessories what the hell nintendo come on stop doing this to me or you're you just like all right cool i can appreciate it but i'm just fine with what i've got right now and i'm i'm just i'm just rock out my nintendo switch just like the way it is joe buy three of them <laughs> dead eye oh my god <laughs> don't stop believing i won't stop believing ben i won't stop well joe i'm out see you guys catch you later zom and joe oh ben dude take care everyone see ben out make sure he has a good night thank you for that host by the way i knew you'd come there you go that's for you that's for you <laughs> and if you're wondering why i said that it's because broken matt hardy comes up in the corner of the screen whenever someone hosts my channel <laughs> that's 500 yen are they serious well it's packaging it's you know it's the art the artwork that's on it and stuff like that believe me i'm surprised they didn't charge more for it <laughs> Hands up for the Switch. <laughs> Selling an empty box is so stupid. If they sold a post, a poster or something, sure. But not a dang box. Dude, yeah. It's totally speaking to the collectors out there. A lot of people who are heavy into Nintendo are also really, really heavy into collecting stuff as well. So it's not a surprise. Oh, it, it, It's a surprise in the sense that I would never thought I'd see the day where... Uh, display box was being sold for a video game console bundle but then again i'm not surprised that someone's actually smart enough to charge for it <laughs> because it was just a matter of time it was just a matter of time and those things i bet are going to be so lucrative that you're going to see fake display boxes coming out and people selling them on the market for stupid expensive prices on ebay on amazon and then you got the people that have the legit copies that are gonna be like here you go you can buy it for like a hundred dollars here you go and some people might buy it. It, it it's true it's true oh shout out to kurt angle put those away joe my daughter just saw them and wants them <laughs> i guess l1 is back uh from from driving welcome back man oh my goodness drunk duck dude oh my goodness welcome dude it's been a minute how you been dude <laughs> and everyone's saying hi huh? and then i think <laughs> the host train <laughs> the host train anyone know that reference Oh my goodness. L2 wants to know when the waxing is going to happen. I have to figure all that out. I have to figure out all the milestones. Uh, we're going to have to do those during like the middle of the week. Find a day where I'm... Man, this couldn't have happened at a worse time. It's like Fire Emblem Echoes is right there, yet I got all these milestones I need to do. Damn it. <laughs> but don't you worry. We're going to get to them. I want to do them sooner than later. So, um, Mrs. is working right now. So, as soon as uh, we get a chance to like actually have a moment together we'll figure it all out because she's gonna be the one waxing me so i figure since you can't really show too much on twitch i'm gonna do my leg and if i have to do one leg i, I i'll do like a calf or something maybe do my calf section here i'm wearing shorts today i don't really wear shorts but it's just too damn hot in here so yeah, we'll figure we'll figure something. I'm gonna try to do it as soon as next week, but uh, I'll keep you guys posted on that. And for those of you who don't know, we raised two hundred and twenty dollars for Anxiety Gaming. We still got two a week and a half left uh, to donate to them. Links are uh, with Nightbot right now. If you hit exclamation point charity, um, or if you type exclamation point charity, it'll show you the donation link. If you choose to do so, <gasps> got some cool rewards in there. And uh, moving on, that was the Splatoon 2 accessories. So we've got one more thing that I forgot to uh, type up up above me here, which uh, I think eh, we'll talk about it real quick. This, is, this should be a quick bit, but uh, I have my 10 quick bits that I want to talk about. So um, 
Project Rap Rabbit is the working title to a Kickstarter um, um, campaign by the creators of Parappa the Rappa and Guitaru Man. So, <laughs> uh, this game might or might not be epic, depending on if it meets its goal. Um, which right now we've got 2013 backers with 31 days to go. Um, they have a pledge to make a goal of 1.1 million to make this game. Now the 1.1 million, I believe is for PS yeah, PS4 and PC initially. And then they had a bit of a gripe with, um, backers and community feedback in general, about their stretch goals one specifically was for nintendo switch now they have changed it since then but i was reading that they initially started at five million to do a stretch goal to get it onto nintendo switch which people were asking like okay you're asking 1.5 million to get it on pc and ps4 why do you need four million dollars more to get it to nintendo switch where's what what's the drastic difference so they changed it now it's 1.5 million a little bit more reasonable um of course video games cost a lot of money and who knows whether or not all of this cost is going in uh if this is going to be all the cost to financially back the entire game or if this is just part of it and this is what they need left to you know then pay to make the game to pay the developers to actually make this game but here we go new digital tier plus nintendo switch stretch goal so in our previous update we explained how we've listed your uh listened to your overwhelming request for a nintendo switch version a project rap uh rap rabbit today we're proud to unveil our new plan to make this happen our first stretch goal projected for rap a uh, rap rabbit Gosh, that's a tongue twister. Triggers a Nintendo Switch edition at 1.5 million. Our backers will help shape what future stretch goals will feature in the Project Rap Rabbit. R Rap Rabbit. Jeez, I keep thinking I'm saying it wrong, but I'm not. A free digital soundtrack for all white label edition digital tiers and higher. A new early bird digital tier. Record scratch. Freeze frame. So how did we? How did we get here? And they go on to explain this. So, again, I'm going to leave the links for you guys. We'll get a little bit further detail. I don't want to delve too much into this because, uh, really, it was just to say, hey, this could potentially come to Nintendo Switch if it meets the stretch goal, not even the original goal. So, check it out. Um, again, I'll drop all the links at the end of the show for the live stream. If you're watching this on YouTube or Twitch afterwards, I'll leave the link in the description. And that is an amazing, an amazing octopus, Ryan Miller. That is an amazing octopus. <laughs> 1.5 million for a rabbit that wraps. Games are expensive, dude. Especially if you're trying to get them across multiple platforms. I mean, it's a very, very expensive uh, thing to get into nowadays. Especially with all that goes into it. The animation. Uh, the, the teams that I'm sure that they're trying to also pay to get the get this done as well. All right, time to eat, peeps. I'll see you later, L1 dude. Take care of yourself, man. Have yourself a good family night. <laughs> Gives us a heads up. She wants to put the kids to bed early and get the popcorn ready. LOL. <laughs> I guess forget game night. The Rock will come to your stream and Kurt Angle will be wrestling on you. No. I don't want to. Duck, have yourself a good night. Yeah, I gotta go catch another stream in the future. Dude, thank you for dropping in. <laughs> what else did I miss? What else did I miss? A rapping rabbit, huh? I guess it's better than modern rappers in today's age. Damn. Burn of the night. Gold heart. <laughs> oh, man. Damn. Damn. <laughs> But yeah, uh, for those of you who don't know, Parappa the Rappa was a pretty fun rhythm game. They had two, I believe, and then there was Unjamma Lammy. Um, Guitaru Man, I vaguely remember Guitaru Man. I didn't play it, but Parappa the Rappa is definitely synonymous with PlayStation. Um, so the fact that these guys are trying to, you know, at home, it, it makes sense that they would focus on PS4 and PC. 
um, just for the fact of, you know, everything's going on PS4 and their home console is PS4. But uh, also getting that PC market and then, you know, trying to get to the Switch market, that handheld market, because it technically it doubles as not just a home console, but a handheld console as well. Uh, hopefully they can resolve the issues that I've been experiencing with one rhythm game in particular called Dark Witch Music Episode Rudy Macau. Um, I noticed that the game runs way smoother on the on handheld mode than on TV mode. I tried it out without stream outside of streaming a few times, and there is such a difference with timing that it's actually still slightly off and even with the time where you can adjust the the uh the timer by milliseconds it just it there's just something about it that is still off that i hope that they fix or i don't know if they uh, i don't know if um they the developers know that there's a, a weird like off like just a very 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 slight offness i don't know how to explain it but i just you can't get it in time as opposed to when it's in handheld mode everything runs very very smooth and i feel like i'm constantly in time uh playing in hard mode is actually easier in handheld mode watching all the freaking balls fly at your face trying to get everything in time oh gosh the octopus is attacking no